Good morning. My name is Len Foy and I am a real estate attorney in Nashua, New Hampshire. And uh, those of you who are watching this video uh, may have seen other videos uh, that I have uh, prepared and produced. Many of those I've prepared with my daughter, Natalie Foy, uh, as acting as the moderator. But today is a solo performance. And really the purpose of the video that I'm making today is to try to tie it all up if I can and provide viewers with sort of a general overview of our firm and the services that we offer, people who are buying, people and organizations and, and, and business entities who are buying, selling and refinancing real estate. I hope to include some frequently asked questions. I hope to include a general overview of our firm and our services. And I also hope to include some tips or pointers. Um, first, uh, by way of background, again, my name is Len Foy. Uh, my, my given name is Leonard W. Foy III, uh, which is a very long name. People call me Len Foy, which is a very short name and very easy to remember. So if, there's, uh, if you see a Leonard Foy on the internet, uh, that's probably me. But uh, my name is Len Foy. I was born in Lowell, Massachusetts. And I am a practicing attorney. I've been practicing law for about 20 years. Uh, I was uh, raised in Hudson, New Hampshire, uh, very close to where my office is located today here in Nashua. Um, throughout the course of my life, I've lived in many different places. So certainly, I, I've, I've, I've traveled about. I've lived uh, uh, on the West Coast. I've lived in, in New York, uh, in metropolitan New York City. I've lived in Florida. So I, I, I certainly have made the rounds. But I'm, I'm where I belong and I'm happy where I am. So my office is located in Nashua, New Hampshire. And again, I'm a real estate attorney with a, with a practice there. And we service or handle real estate transactions in four New England states. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Maine, and Rhode Island. Important uh, editor's note with respect to Rhode Island. I'm not actually admitted as an attorney in Rhode Island. So my office is authorized to conduct real estate transactions in Rhode Island and we're authorized to issue title insurance in Rhode Island. More about title insurance either later in this video or perhaps in another video segment. Um, so uh, basically I, I've been practicing law for about 20 years. I was admitted to practice in the state of California in February of 1995. So I've got my 20 year anniversary coming up next February. And in that 20 years time, I've handled just about every case you can imagine. I've handled divorce cases, I've handled accident cases, I've handled, I've prepared trusts for people, I've prepared wills, uh, I've probated estates. Um, I really, I've had a very diverse and very rich history uh, in the practice of law. But, but and, I've, and, and certainly throughout that time, I've been handling real estate matters. I, I handled my first real estate matter. Uh, within a month or so of being sworn in, uh, so real estate has always been um, a part of my uh, a part of my practice. But since 2002 or thereabouts, my practice has consisted almost entirely of real estate matters. So um, certainly for the last 12 years uh, of my practice, uh, my practice has been 99% real estate and 1% perhaps a few other assorted matters. Um, so uh, I would consider myself to be a real estate attorney. That is the focus of my practice. That's the concentration of my practice. Um, I'm, uh, we handle real estate matters in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Maine. Uh, that includes representing buyers of real estate. It includes representing sellers of real estate. It includes representing lenders, which include banks, mortgage companies, credit unions, um, and, um, and, any other, uh, and any other type of lender, perhaps a family member who is making a loan in connection with a real estate transaction. So it could be the biggest bank or it could be the smallest local lender, uh, and, and of course everyone in between. Um, the scenario might be that you are in the process of buying a piece of real estate or you may be in the process of selling a piece of real estate. If you are, or if you're refinancing a piece of real estate which you already own, if you are currently engaged in that process, please call my office. Um, I have a considerable amount of experience practicing law, a considerable amount of 
real estate experience and, and legal real estate experience. And I know that I could be of service to you and a benefit to you and that I would help you through that process, which can be oftentimes complicated, complex, um, laden with traps, whatever the case may be. Real estate, in my view, and again, as somebody who's been, who has been handling real estate matters for about 20 years, real estate has probably reached its high watermark, in my opinion, of complexity and difficulty. And, and I could do a video segment on that. I, I think it, it, it's very, it, it's cultural, it, it's the way we've evolved, it's, it's email, it's the immediacy of communications, it's, I think, our expectations that communications and, and, and return communications be conducted with some sense of urgency and immediacy. So um, I still remember the dawn of the fax machine and how the fax machine uh, transformed our practice. I remember the word processor and I remember older attorneys in a firm where I once worked that didn't actually utilize the word processor and, and, and used a typewriter. So I've seen technology change our business and I think technology has changed the real estate business as much as any. Um, consultations. Um, consultations are always free. So if you have an interest in working with me or, or, or you want to at least explore the possibility of working with me, I hope that you'll give my office a call and certainly the consultation will be at no charge so we can actually lay out uh, the scenario, whatever it might be, whatever you are contemplating doing, whether you're buying, selling or refinancing real estate and then we can, uh, I can try to give you a sense of where I might be able to help you, uh, the likely or projected cost of my assistance and we can go from there. And if you make a decision not to utilize my services, which I hope that you decide to use me, but if you decide against it, uh, certainly the consultation costs you nothing. Um, frequently asked questions. There are so many of them. Um, I would say that uh, probably chief among them would be, you know, one of the, we'll cover a couple of frequently asked questions. These are the ones that I hear all the time. When should I hire an attorney if I'm in the process of buying, selling, or refinancing real estate? Anecdotally, uh, I can tell you there have been times when friends of mine, associates of mine, colleagues of mine have called me a week before a real estate closing and said, okay, I think it's time that I bring you in. And, and by the way, bring me in at any time. B bring me to the closing if that's, if that's all that cir circumstances allow for. So if, if you need a ride to the closing or you want me to, to, to accompany you to a closing, and that's the most notice you can give me, and that's, and that's the extent of my involvement, then that will be the extent of my involvement. But if we can, if we can sort of choreograph it in terms of how it's going to go, I would say calling me earlier in the process is better. I have had people call me, reach out to me, and say, hey, I'm closing in a couple of weeks, and I want you to handle my closing. And at that point, it's too late. It won't always be too late, but it sometimes can be too late. Uh, decisions have already been made about which attorney is going to handle the closing and uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's at a point when to bring me in means that somebody else basically gets the file taken away from them and it creates some political disturbances and it kind of upsets the apple cart. So I would say that as a general proposition, the earlier you contact me in the process, the better. And that way we can kind of lay out everybody's respective roles in terms of who's going to be the attorney handling the closing, who's going to be the attorney representing the lender. Another question that I get asked a lot is, can I represent both a buyer and their lender in a real estate transaction, or do different attorneys need to represent each party? Great question and frequently asked. Uh, generally speaking, and I say generally speaking, obviously there are exceptions to every rule, but more often than not, it's appropriate for, for a single attorney to represent both the bank, the lender, and the buyer, the buyers, you know, the, 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 the person to whom the lender is making the loan, simultaneously in the same transaction. Obviously, the bank needs to be okay with it, the buyer needs to be okay with it, but I certainly have had people approach me and say, is that kosher, can I do that, can we do that? And the answer more often than not is, yes we can, we frequently do, and there are typically cost savings involved for people that utilize that kind of an arrangement, as opposed to having a separate attorney for themselves and a separate attorney for the lender. 
Can a single attorney represent a buyer and a seller in the same transaction? No, that's prohibited because obviously there would be a conflict of interest between those parties and, and, and no amount of disclosure or consent can really iron over uh, those uh, profound conflicts of interest that would exist between a buyer and a seller and a single attorney attempting to represent both sides. So those are a couple of frequently asked questions. Tips. I love to throw out tips. I love tips myself. If anyone, if a, you know, if anyone ever threw me a cooking tip or a golf tip or, you know, we all, I think, perk up for that because we're all looking for shortcuts. Eh, shortcut probably doesn't have the greatest connotation, but I think, I think you probably catch my, catch my drift. We're all looking for a way to avoid the hard knocks, learning things the hard way. Uh, if somebody can say, listen, rather than going, you know, this difficult path to get to where you're going, go this way. It'll get there faster, smoother, easier, less expensively. So most of us gravitate to that. Um, a couple of tips that I can throw out. If you are buying or selling or refinancing real estate, you should always at least explore the possibility of hiring an attorney. You should explore it. I'm not saying that you're going to need an attorney every time, although I could make that case, but you should at least explore the possibility of having an attorney advise you and assist you throughout the process. You will consistently find, I think, to your pleasure, um, uh, to your, which will, you'll be pleasantly surprised to learn that in most instances, not only is it affordable, more affordable than you might imagine, but I would say considerably more affordable. It's typically hundreds of dollars, not thousands. I like to throw that out. It's very difficult for me to throw out exact numbers because every case really stands on its own. And, and like snowflakes, no two real estate matters are exactly alike. It's always a different body of work. It's always, there are always different challenges. There's always a different level of involvement. And as the, as the body of work grows and the challenges grow and the level of involvement increases, the price goes up. So it, it would be irresponsible for me to sit here and throw out sort of general pricing like, uh, like you would find on a menu in a restaurant. It's just not that simple. But I can tell you that people watching this video may not know what it would be or could be and the, the uh, fear and uncertainty about it might just drive them away from even finding out in the first place. And I would say um, take the chance, pick up the phone, call my office, for that free consultation which we offer. So finding out what the cost of my involvement would, would be or will be costs you absolutely nothing. Advantage, uh, so that, that's certainly one tip and um, that I can offer. Uh, and I would say that uh, another tip for sellers, so we'll turn our focus momentarily or briefly to sellers of real estate. Get your attorney lined up before you even put the property on the market. You will, as a seller of real estate, you will, you, will, you will face legal issue after legal issue after legal issue. When I say legal issue, I don't mean legal problems. I, I don't want to scare anyone. But you will, the very first thing you'll be given to sign is a listing agreement with a real estate agent. That's a real estate contract. You may want to have an attorney review it. Then a buyer will come along and they'll do a home inspection and, and there will be an avalanche of contracts and offers and legal documents that will be presented to you for signature. You're, you can have your attorney review all of those. Then you have the pre-closing process and the closing itself. Legal documents are prepared and exchanged. Attorneys are obviously, an attorney like myself would be quite valuable throughout this process. So that would be a tip that I would offer sellers. A little bit about myself personally. Um, some things that I think perhaps distinguish me from maybe some of the other attorneys who are competing with me in this field. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I have built this practice, um, I don't want to say on my own, uh, because I did not build it on my own. I had the help of, uh, you know, as they say, a cast of thousands, who met many people to help me. But in many ways, I consider myself to be self-made, uh, which gives me a great appreciation for people who are coming from a middle class background, which is where I come from. So this is not a practice that was handed to me. Uh, it is not a practice that I saw, uh, it was not a ready-made practice that I glided into. I built it uh, on my own and I'm very proud to have done that. And I built something not just for myself, but for my clients. And that is what guided me throughout this process. That I was not building this law firm just for me. I was building it for my clients, a place where people could come to get quality legal services at a reasonable, affordable cost. 
Um, I consider myself to be a person with a lot of integrity and a big heart and a lot of kindness and understanding. So I feel like I have a lot of qualities that help me empathize with other people and certainly empathize with clients, which I think empathy is, is something that's very much needed in this process and needed in our profession. Um, my work ethic is, as far as I'm concerned, second to none. So I'm an attorney who is actively involved on a daily basis in the process of running this firm um, to the very best of my ability. I don't take a lot of time off. I don't check out or duck out of the office early. Uh, most nights I'm here working late, uh, working on behalf of my clients tirelessly. So I'm not some uh, attorney who's out uh, water skiing or traveling or seeing the world uh, while my um, surrogates are in the firm running it and catering to the needs of my clients. I'm here in the firm catering to the needs of my own clients with the help of a friendly, experienced, and knowledgeable staff uh, who also uh, have share my values in terms of my work ethic. Um, experience. I think experience is, is critically important, and I have a ton of it because, because of how hard I work and because of the way I run this firm. Uh, we handle, uh, over the course of my practice over the course of my career, I have handled literally thousands of real estate transactions. That's because we do so many of them, not only monthly, but yearly and, and year upon year upon year. So when you walk into my office and talk to me about a real estate transaction, you're not speaking to an attorney who's detached from his or her practice, who's handled some real estate here and there, uh, who handles real estate transactions to help with cash flow but whose real passion lies in estate planning or car accidents or divorce or whatever the case may be. You're speaking with an experienced real estate attorney who does essentially nothing but real estate and a ton of it at that. So we handle anywhere in the vicinity of, I don't know, a bunch of real estate transactions monthly, which is hundreds going on a thousand transactions a year and multiply that over the number of years that I've been practicing law and you'll be consulting with an attorney who has handled a lot of real estate transactions, seen a lot of fact patterns, seen a lot of variations upon the fact patterns, and who has the experience to counsel you appropriately and accordingly under your, under your circumstances and the challenges presented by your, by your uh, circumstances. Um, so this is just a little bit about me. I hope it doesn't sound like boasting. It's not intended to come off that way because I'm actually quite centered and quite humble and, and really just very grateful to be, uh, to have the life that I have and be in the position that I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm mainly just grateful for it. Uh, so I don't hope it doesn't come off as grandstanding or being a blowhard. Uh, but I do want to confidently assert myself and let, let clients know that they can have confidence, not just in this firm, but in me as the president of the firm. So, these are my early morning remarks here on December 3rd, 2014. It's the holiday season and I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Uh, my name is Leonard Foy. Uh, everyone, again, everyone calls me Len Foy. I'm the president and managing attorney of Foy Law Office, PLLC. My office is located at 76 Northeastern Boulevard in Nashua, New Hampshire, Suite 26B. Uh, my phone number, for those of you interested in calling, 603-598-4030. Again, area code 603-598-4030. We are on the World Wide Web, and I'm proud of that. Uh, isn't everybody, though? Um, www.foylawoffice.com. My email address is L-F-O-Y, so my first initial L, my last name, Foy, F-O-Y, at foylawoffice.com. And if you'd like to send me a fax, you can send me a fax at 603-598-4020. Um, again, I hope to hear from you. I enjoy making these videos very much. I think I'm getting better, of them, better at them as I go along. Uh, when I start to regress, I'll probably stop making them. Um, that's a joke. Uh, but have a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday season for all of your real estate needs, whether it's a real estate closing, preparing a deed, or just looking at anything that concerns real estate, a real estate problem that you are having. 
a boundary issue, a dispute of some kind, a desire to put somebody on a piece of property, take somebody off a piece of property, buy a property, sell a property, divide a property, mortgage a property, give my office a call. We'll do our best to help you and at an affordable price or rate. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.